The Google team is excited to announce that we have turned on the capability of live streaming meetings publicly via YouTube. Let's dive deeper. When considering to live stream publicly via YouTube, you need to plan ahead. Enabling your first live stream may take up to 24 hours. So if this is your very first live stream ever, you will need to verify your YouTube channel and enable live streaming. So let's go ahead and do that. You can go to verify your YouTube channel by going to the link provided here, which will be posted below in the YouTube video. Once you navigate to that URL that's provided, you may or may not have created a channel before. In this demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and walk through creating your channel as well. You might already have a channel and won't need to do all these additional steps, but let's go ahead and make sure you have a channel created under your Google account. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a channel once I go to that URL. Then you're in the verification stage. This is where you need to verify and put a phone number in and click get code. Then you'll receive a text message to that phone number. Go ahead and enter that verification code. Then click submit. Awesome, step one is done. Let's go back to our written instructions and continue on. Next thing, it says enable live streaming. Go to YouTube and find the top right hand corner the video icon and click go live. Now that I'm at YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and click on this video icon and select go live. Once you get to the live stream, you will see a countdown. It will state how much time you have to wait before you start your very first live stream. Before we leave the plan ahead section, I do want to make note there is more assistance under number three, need more help. So definitely check that out. Also, the additional note that is posted there is important for a small amount of users. So I'm just going to go quickly demonstrate this to give you a visual of understanding that note. I'm back into YouTube and this particular account, OCIO Communications, is the owner of all these channels posted on the right hand side. Some of us might have several channels under a particular email. It is very important if you want to create an event of live stream under that branded channel such as Google Help or Okta, you will need to do that under the account that it is owned by. That is very important. There is no way to select channel picker under the Google Meet feature. So please plan ahead and think about that before you make your very first live stream. We planned ahead, set up our live stream, enabled, verified, we're good to go. We're ready to start streaming. We're going to go ahead and create an event in Google Calendar. Let's jump to Google Calendar. As you see, I've already started creating an event. We know how to do an event in Google Calendar. Make sure you have enabled video conferencing on. Now, the next step is something that you're probably not used to. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the video conferencing area of that calendar event. And then you'll notice there's an option at the bottom there when you expand it to add a live stream. Go ahead and click add live stream. Go ahead and click add live stream and go ahead and click save. Now let's say it's 1230 and we're ready to join our live stream. Let's go ahead and do that. Join the Google Meet like you normally do. You're going to click on them, join with Google Meet. Go ahead and join the Google Meet. Now that you're in the green room and go ahead and just join the Google Meet, join now. And this is the same applies in normal Meet environment. Turn your camera on, turn it off, share your screen. All that is the exact same. One thing I want to make note of is if you do have host management off, anyone in the organization can initiate a live stream. If you have host management on, only the host and co-host can initiate a live stream. Just keep that in mind if you have host management on or off. In this case, I have it off. I'm going to go ahead and start the live stream. You'll notice you have the option to start streaming at the top of your Google Meet or you can go down to the bottom right hand corner and click on the activities button and choose live stream. Either way, we'll get you to the next prompt. The next prompt will then take you to the choice of either stream with YouTube or stream internally. We're gonna go ahead and select stream with YouTube. Then you have a new option to select from in the event info. If you want, you can select from an event that might have already been created on our YouTube channels that the owner of the account is on. So you can go ahead and create these events ahead of time on the YouTube live room as well and select it from there. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new event. Then you can select 
Um, the privacy, if you want it to be public, private, or unlisted. And then you can decide if you want closed captions on in a different language or not at all if you choose to. Once you've selected and updated those fields, go ahead and start streaming. Then you get a pop up to make sure everyone that's on the call ready to go. Go ahead and click start. Then you have a new icon on the top left hand corner indicating it's public. You can go ahead and click on the copy link in the live stream menu and distribute that link and go ahead and view the live stream if you choose to. That is one option. Now, before I end this meet and this live stream, I want to go ahead and go back to my YouTube channel to see where I can moderate. So we're kind of in the moderation of the live stream. We're going live. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and go to the video icon and select go live. Now you can see I've had a few test live streams here, as you can see in this demonstration. You can see the upcoming ones or the ones that are currently live. If you want to review the ones that are live, you can go ahead and click on that and see some analytics, see some chat posts here as well. Now we're in the live stream dashboard of this particular live stream that is going live right now. You can see all the things that are available for you as you're monitoring this live stream. You can see currently I have no visitors watching this live stream right now. You can also see there is an option to chat. It means that you do have an option for the public to chat if you choose to. So again, you'll need to be familiar with both Google Meet and the live stream dashboard as shown here as well to be navigating back and forth between the two if you choose to. So any big public meeting, it's always good to have at least two facilitators, if not three, on a large public meeting. So get yourself familiar with both YouTube and the Google Meet to get a better understanding of those great features within Google Workspace. So again, definitely check out the resources that are posted below, and thanks for joining.